Hello, welcome back to How About That Crypto. You're watching your daily crypto news and updates with your host, Bitcoin Stylist on Twitter and Bitcoin Hairstylist on Instagram. I'm here Monday through Friday and I explain crypto and Web3 while keeping you up to date on all the latest. Today's news stories are Chipotle accepts Bitcoin, Crypto.com teams up with Shopify and Goldman Sachs teams up with crypto exchange FTX. What does all this mean? Not to worry, I'll explain it all. But first, if you like the content and don't like the content, please let me know by leaving a comment below. If you're listening on podcast, please give me five stars and follow me if you're watching on YouTube. Please smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, and it helps support the channel, and it doesn't cost you anything. Just to be clear and litigious, this is not my financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You can use the links below to do your own research. All right, so I'm still on vacation, so I'll make this quick. If you like the shorter episodes, I can do more of them. Who knows? Maybe this is the beginning of something. Let me know. Leave a comment below. All right, I'm just going to jump right in, and I'm going to share some stuff with you. And uh, forgive me, I don't have my multiple screens and whatever. So it's going to be kind of off to the side. So let's do this. All right. <clears throat> Kate Rooney reports for CNBC. And this is going, we're going to jump right in. Um, let me just do one thing real quick. Sorry. And optimize for sound. And bam. All right. Check this out com slash crypto world. Next, Chipotle will let some customers buy their next burrito with crypto. The fast casual restaurant is partnering with digital payments company Flexa to accept Bitcoin, Ether, and other cryptocurrencies within the U.S. Chipotle is offering 10% off for customers who pay with crypto, and the restaurant brand is joining a host of others like Shake Shack who are exploring crypto payments and rewards. But it's important to note you still have to pay a tax for these crypto transactions. That can be upwards of 20%. Finally, CNBC spoke to a- All right. So I shouldn't really have to say much to you. Uh, Chipotle accepts Bitcoin. I mean, that's fucking nuts. Excuse my language. Okay, so I feel like you could just be excited and know what that means. It's a big deal. Chipotle is a big deal. And also Shake Shack. I just was walking by Shake Shack the other day and they're telling me that they're accepting crypto or Bitcoin at least. Uh, so that's a big deal. Adoption is here. Okay, uh, moving on. Author Richard Lee reports for NamecoinNews.com. Crypto.com Pay joined Shopify and will offer multiple benefits. Let me just pull up there. There you go. Just like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and PayPal, Crypto.com Pay is a payment processing app option that is connected to crypto.com. Well, what is Shopify? So let's check out. Wikipedia says Shopify Inc. is a Canadian multinational e-commerce company that headquartered in Ottawa, Ontario. Ontario. Oh, there goes my light. Sorry. <laughs> this is a vacation uh, kind of rigged up for you guys. There we go. Okay. So it's an e-commerce name. Or sorry, it's in the name of its proprietary e-commerce platform. So basically, you can build your e-commerce business on their platform. Like you have a website, you want to have a store, you can use Shopify to build your store. And uh, according to Wikipedia, 1.58 million websites run on Shopify, 175 different countries, and their volume exceeded $61 billion in 2019. So another massive big deal. Shopify is bigger than anyone ever really appreciates, and they are just growing massively. Their stock has been beat down lately, but that is because all tech stocks are beat down, and we are going through a period of time where everything is going on sale. Not financial advice, but that's how I see it. Okay, let's jump back. So the platform uh, for that crypto.com pay and you Shopify teaming up, you're going to be able to do in-person sales of crypto also. So that's awesome. So like maybe in your business, you can accept crypto through crypto.com pay, or just like you accept Google pay or Apple pay. <clears throat> so I don't know. What do you think about this? Do you think this is a big deal? What do you think about Chipotle uh, accepting Bitcoin? Do you think it's a big deal? If you don't, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. All right. Moving on to our last piece of news. Author Prashant Jha reports for Cointelegraph.com. Goldman Sachs reportedly eyes crypto derivatives market with FTX integration. FTX has sought to integrate brokerage services internally to fill, fill trades automatically. However, CFTC, that's the Commodities and Futures Trade, Trade Commission, 
They regulate commodities and futures, uh, futures markets. They have called for greater scrutiny of the demand as it would lead to a monopoly of big players. All right, I'm just going to read a few paragraphs here. This stuff is, this is like a really big deal. Goldman Sachs uh, once is, has been showing more and more that they want to get in this game, as you would know, because I've been reporting on them and uh, they have been making more moves. Uh, Fidelity is number one and uh, Goldman Sachs is looking like it's number two being in, getting involved with crypto. So let's check this out. Goldman Sachs, one of the leading investment banks in the United States, is reportedly trying to onboard some of its derivative products into FTX.US crypto derivatives offering. Goldman Sachs has been in talks with FTX over regulatory and public listing help and aims to expand into offering crypto derivatives by leveraging some of its own derivative tools and services. So uh, FTX.US, the US subsidiary of global cryptocurrency exchange FTX is currently seeking to offer brokerage services of its derivatives offerings. This would allow the crypto exchange to handle the collateral and margin requirements internally rather than depending on futures commissions merchants. Basically there's laws passed that says crypto, uh, Crypto exchanges cannot offer leveraged products. So they're creating derivatives. I mean, I feel like when I hear derivatives, I think of 2008 market crash. I feel like I think of AIG. I think of it's not, this does not make me excited. I mean, the only thing that makes me excited is that the big banks are trying to get in. And if I'm in before the big banks, I'll make money, but I'll make sure to take profits along the way because with derivatives, you never really know how that's all going to play out. Well, this is the news. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, let me know if, if you think Chipotle accepting Bitcoin is a big deal. Let me know if you think Shopify in integrating with CryptoPay.com crypto Pay is a big deal to offer crypto to their to their customers. And uh, let me know if you think Goldman Sachs getting in bed with a crypto exchange is a good is a is a big deal or not good idea. I don't know, but we're talking adoption here. And since it's a bear market, you know. Numbers will go up eventually, not financial advice. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below. Help support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And until then, hodl on.